Hi, Dr. Joe here. Just at the end of the day, flipping through my my PC, looking at what's new, and just happened to see a bunch of things that I thought you all would be interested in. Uh, there are 13 papers. They're all in a row in PubMed. And they were very interesting. What were they about, for heaven's sakes? Well, uh, they were how to prevent certain cancers, like number one, prevent colorectal cancer, colorectal cancer, the cancer of the colon that nobody ever wants to get. And then their head and neck, head and neck cancers as well, important not to get either. Uh, how about the kinds of things where there's usually unthing, unknown things in certain types of uh, MS essays? That's very interesting. Progno prognostic effects of having good levels of vitamin D for colon and gastric cancer. Woo, we're getting a lot of them in here. And then the situation where prostate cancer is involved as well. All these things are really building up. How about skin? That's not neglected in this either. And how about a little more of these here? We have now mesotheliomas, rare, but rare means if you have a little more vitamin D, you probably would be very well. That's a mesothelioma. It's a cancer in the inside of your abdomen. Sickle cell anemia and chronic pain. That's very interesting, too. This is, this is really uh, beautiful. It's something else. And you know what else? They found if you didn't have enough vitamin D, it didn't recommend that you take any more in most dermatology papers. That means they don't care. <laughs> As they were saying in the article, it says, you got, you got too much. This is not, not right. But lastly, there's one thing that I thought was really striking. It really caught my mind, first of all. Rare gene links vitamin D and multiple sclerosis. This is a popular uh, thing that's been done around here in a lot of ways. But this one was from McGill University, uh, Ottawa. A lot of other uh, Canadian uh, universities contributed to this. And also, there were people in England who did as well. So a lot of people all agree. Uh, that if you can take a lot of vitamin D, you will not get MS. Or at least enough information so there should be some real studies on that. So that's what we're going to do. Next few years, you'll see a lot about this.